Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Wednesday afternoon, it's 1.20 in the afternoon and it is mostly cloudy outside, 37 degrees with a real fill of 27 Fahrenheit, we'll take it. Um, <laughs> let it melt some of this snow, especially because I did not shovel the driveway um, because the drift was just too much. So uh, the next couple days we're expecting 40s and it's going to be a combination of high 30s and 40s for the next week or so. So we'll take it because we know come January and February we will have winter. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if you didn't notice I didn't post a, couple, a video for a couple days. I took a break from recording over the Christmas uh, holiday. Took a couple days just kind of de decompressed from having the camera in my hand all the time and always feeling like I had to record so I just decided to take a couple days and decompress from taking video. <laughs> so here I am back at it. It is, what date it is? Is it, uh, Sunday was 25th, 28th. Today is December 28th. Um, so as you can see, I got a ham here. This was our Christmas ham. We ate off of it a couple times. Um, as you can see, it, it hardly looks like it was ate into. But I am going to make a pea soup tonight for Glenn. I don't like pea soup. So anytime I make him a meal that I don't like, it's an opportunity to make myself a meal I know he doesn't like. So he's not crazy about chicken. He's not crazy about breakfast for supper or anything like that. So I'm thinking I might make myself breakfast for supper with some corned beef hash, eggs, and some bacon. And then tomorrow, because he'll have pea soup again tomorrow, I might make myself some chicken thighs. Um, but I'm not sure how I'm going to make them yet. So, so that's the plan. Now, this pea soup is not split pea soup. This is how his ma used to make it. So I try to get it as close to how his ma used to make it. And it's basically going to be the ham, potatoes, carrots, onions. What I'm going to do is cut all this ham off, leave a little bit of ham on the bone. And then I'm going to cook the, the bone for, let it simmer for a couple hours to build up some broth, ham broth. And then, uh, then I'll actually make the soup itself. So... Yeah, right now I'm going to cut all this ham off and get all the ham pieces together. It is, like I said, only 1.20 in the afternoon, so it's not supper time. But I'd rather get it done now, get it done early as I can, because I am a procrastinator. I wait till the last minute. And with this, wanting to uh, simmer the bone for a couple hours and then the soup itself for an hour or so, um, yeah, I'll need some time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut up this ham. This is the ham we got from the pantry and it was such a blessing. It actually was, uh, it doesn't taste too bad actually. And so, yeah, we had ham a couple nights. So now I'm going to do what we usually do with ham and cut it up, make some pea soup and freeze the rest for like breakfast ham or something like that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off all this fat. Alright, so what I'm also going to do today for dessert is I'm going to make a, a lemon cake. It's just like a super moist lemon cake mix in the box. We received that from the pantry some time ago. And I'm just going to make that. And I'm going to make our own lemon buttercream frosting. So I've got some butter sitting out to get uh, soft at room temperature. And then I'll make that after I get this bone going on the stove. So, all right, trying to get everything done early as far as meals. Uh, I've got the dishes washed, but I do need to scrub out the sink and I wanna get that done at least today. So I'm gonna to get to uh, cutting up this ham and I will be back. Okay, so I've got the bone simmering on the stove and this is all the ham that I tore up for the uh, pea soup. So that's uh, for that. And then I did save some for like breakfast ham. So I have three packs in here. And each pack has several slices of ham. And I've got it labeled. So 
I'll put these in the freezer for breakfast and that is it so that's all the ham uh, all of it will get used so now I'm gonna make the lemon cake but I won't record that because it's just like a super moist lemon cake uh, mix in the box so I'll make that and then later on I'll make the lemon buttercream frosting alright everyone so um, the ham bone has been simmering for almost a couple hours now I just got it on a lower heat while I cut the veg vegetables up and the cake is done that's on the cooling rack so all I have to do is cut up the veggies throw it all in the uh, pot and let it simmer till it's done and then just make the frosting and then everything will be done for today um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the onion up and then potatoes and carrots and that'll be it so using my other glass cutting board uh, the birds for the veggies and fruits so the reason I like I've gotten quite comfortable with using these glass cutting boards and I love them I absolutely love using these uh, not only for the picture that I get to look at because you know me I love my birds um, but they're so nice to use when you're cutting um, multiple veggies or fruits or whatever it may be all you got to do is wipe it down quick wipe down after each veggie and then you just cut up the next veggie on a regular cutting board some of the other veggie is still kind of stuck on it but this one you just take a rag or a paper towel wipe it down and you're ready for the next one so and washing it is so easy don't even have to scrub it just take the sponge side and wash it down and when I dry it and put it away these glass cutting boards um, I put them in their original box cover that they came in and then put them in, back in the cabinet because uh, I don't have a secure place out to hang them or set them on top of anything so I just put them back in their original box and until I get a, a nice place to display them or whatever um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my onion first, and then I'll do the potatoes and carrots. So, all right. Oh, yeah, one other thing. It's 38 degrees outside. Real feel 30, but it's still very nice. I just took Gypsy out, and it is nice. I went out there in shorts. I still had my winter jacket on and a winter hat, but I had my shorts and snow boots on. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, the... You can definitely tell the warmer weather is starting to melt the snow. You can see grass. Um, a lot of our driveway is melted, so very nice. And it'll be even nicer when it hits 40s and melts, melts the rest of the snow off the driveway. I don't care if the snow stays on the grass and stuff. I like that for Gypsy because she loves the snowballs. Um, but like I said, because I didn't shovel... I want all that stuff melted off so all right so let me get to the onions and the veggies and I'll be back okay so I'm gonna throw in three cans of peas all right I'm gonna go ahead and give that a mix Not too much of a mix because you don't want to squish all your peas. And I don't think we're going to have room for the bone. Just like I did last time when I made this was Easter. And we attempted to leave the bone in there. But there just wasn't enough room to get enough juice in there. Alright, so now I'm going to throw in the broth. All right. Yeah, if I would put the bone in here, there just wouldn't be enough room to actually mix it or get this much broth in. All 
All right, and that's all there is to it. We do have some broth left, so I'll just keep that. And this I'm going to put back on the stove and let it simmer between one and two hours till everything's soft. And that's it. That's all we do for the pea soup. Again, this recipe is not split pea soup. It's just pea soup. And it comes from Glenn's Ma's recipes. And this is how she used to make it. And that's how he likes it. So, all right. I'm going to get this back on the stove. See how my butter is. If it's at room temperature now. Soft. And then I'll be making the lemon buttercream frosting. Okay, everyone. So everything is in the pot on the stove. And I did go ahead and tear the ham I could off the bone and put it in there. Uh, it's a little bit darker. You can see some darker pieces right there. That's the ham off the bone after it simmered for a couple hours. And uh, what I didn't mention is when I first started uh, cooking the ham bone by itself, I did let it come to a boil and then turn the heat down and then let it simmer for a couple hours. So other than that... Uh, I just added some pepper. We'll add salt after we see how it how it is after a while. Uh, just because ham can be salty. So I won't add salt right now. And it is actually 422. <laughs> when I started this, I said I'm, I'm doing this early. No, I did it just on time. Because by the time this gets done, it'll either be 530 or 630. So that'll be just in time for supper. So yeah, I actually started just on time, not early. <laughs> so I'm glad I did it when, I, I'm glad I started when I did. So, all right. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to cover this and let it simmer. All right, everyone. So I am going to make the lemon frosting. This is lemon buttercream frosting. And I know most make it with fresh lemon lemon juice and lemon zest i don't have any lemons so uh instead i'm going to use pure lemon extract so we'll see how it tastes all right so all i'm going to use is uh i'm going to go ahead and use two sticks of butter one cup of butter and it's soft and i'm going to use uh, i think two cups of powdered sugar And I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla, but I'm not going to use the regular vanilla, the dark kind. Uh, if you recall, I picked up some, or I don't even know if I showed you this. Because I think I ordered this off Amazon, maybe? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, this is Wilton Clear Imitation Vanilla. So... I'm going to use the clear stuff so it doesn't turn so dark. Um, and I wish I had some yellow food coloring to make the whole lemon frosting yellow. But I don't. So we'll, we'll just go with what we have today. And then uh, later on I'll get stuff to make yellow <laughs> lemon frosting. Alright. Um, my butter, I'm going to go ahead and mix it so it's all creamy. So I won't make you listen to that. Okay. It's creamy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use the quarter cup measuring cup and put a total of two cups of uh, powdered sugar. So I've put two cups of powdered sugar in there so far. Now this is the first time I've made lemon frosting. So what do you all have planned for New Year's Eve and or New Year's Day? Leave it down in the comments what you got planned. So what we're going to do is nothing. <laughs> uh, we just stay home on New Year's Eve just like we do Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I will be making some appetizers on New Year's Eve. That is when Glenn has his herring with some crackers. Uh, we'll probably do either little smokies or uh, meatballs and chili and grape jelly. And I may get the crab flake stuff again. We did eat all of it from the last time. And I'd like to make a taco dip. Because we have some Tostitos. I just need some taco dip. And I haven't made any in a long time. So I think I'm going to make that. Yes, I have powdered sugar all over the counter. Um, <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in there. 
But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we'll probably fall asleep before midnight. So, <laughs> so yeah, drop down in the comments what you're going to be doing New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Um, yeah. So, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a tablespoon of this uh, lemon extract in there. Then I'm going to put in a little bit of this clear vanilla. Not a tablespoon, but did half of it. All right, we're going to give this a mixture. All right. Well, it's a little yellow from the butter, so that's good. I'm glad I got that clear vanilla to keep the color yellow. Let's give it a taste. I think it could use more lemon. You could taste a little bit of lemon, but I think it could use more. It's definitely plenty sweet. Um, so I'm going to do... I'm going to do another tablespoon of uh, lemon. Oh, <laughs> I almost did the vanilla. <laughs> yeah, we don't want more vanilla. Yes, that's Prissy again. All right. All right. Let's give that a taste. Not sure. Definitely taste the lemon. It takes a while to kick in. Yeah, we'll see how that does. Okay, so <laughs> there's my lemon frosting. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that does. The lemon uh, extract, it takes a little bit to kick in, but eventually you taste the lemon. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so... Yeah, that's my lemon frosting, and now we're just going to wait for the pea soup to get done, and I'll be making myself breakfast for supper. All right, everyone, so here is the pea soup. It is done, and I had it uh, simmering uh, pretty low for about two hours, two to three hours. So, yeah, this is done, and this is for Glenn, and now my supper, which is breakfast for supper. All right, everyone, so here is my supper. I'm having breakfast for supper. I love breakfast, and Glenn is kind of tired of eggs, but I don't think I get tired of eggs. So I made myself some breakfast for supper. I've got some scrambled eggs, some bacon I uh, baked in the oven, and some corned beef hash, which I don't have uh, often. I love corned beef hash, and I don't know why I make, don't make it more. Uh, I, Glenn doesn't like it so I just buy the real small cans and yeah I saw it in the cupboard the other day and I thought yep that's what I'm going to make myself with uh, breakfast while Glenn has his pea soup so I'm going to sit down and enjoy my breakfast for supper and uh, stay tuned for the cake all right everyone so here is the lemon cake with the homemade lemon butter was that buttercream frosting um, at first, I don't know if you noticed my reaction, the sound in my voice when I first made the, the cream, the icing, uh, I wasn't quite sure about it, but the longer you let it sit, uh, a normal lemon flavor does go through. So it actually does taste pretty good. And, and the cake actually is supposed to have pudding in the mix, which makes it moist. So yeah, not a bad combination. So we're going to sit down and enjoy this. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for all the support. 
And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.